so I had this idea the other day, um, looking at this video of the, the non-Euclidean doom, where basically they changed the value of pi from the 3.14 to various other values. And the one thing I thought was interesting was um, that doom is actually playable when pi is equal to 3. So this gave me this idea that the percentage of your health would reflect the... Um, was it the quotient of pi? So the 0.14 and so on, because I can't remember it. But basically, you would take a percentage of the 0.14 as your health, and then factor that as uh, pi. So to show you what I'm talking about, um, I have a save game here where my health is 1%. Um, oh, I should say, this. Is, I'm using the, um, the maps for the John Romero release. I compiled those. And then put in the uh, the assets from Free Doom, so the maps look kind of familiar, and that's why. But anyway, so with pi being equal to three, you'll notice I'm just going forwards, but I can't actually go forwards. And then because um, everything moves, the sprites jump around, and if you'll notice, like the floor textures and ceiling textures move on their own. So this gives the effect that when you're injured. The world is completely messed up. Uh, where's one of these corridors? You can see like sprites flying through, and uh, it's really messed up. <laughs> yeah, you saw that? See the health just floating in space, and then yeah, you finally can't get to it. So it makes it sometimes harder to find things like doors. You can't walk in straight angles. Uh, it can be kind of complicated. And then. Um, let me just restore health. So now that my health is 100%, you'll notice now that pi is now equal to pi. So the world is now restored to being normal. So let's go down here. There's an acid thing. There. So we take a few hit points off. So now we're at 94% of normality. You can already see walls are starting to click through. Uh, that hit me, and then yeah, the uh, the world starts to restore more and more of its sanity. The more health you get. So if I go ahead and get up to a hundred again, oh man, I'm just missing. Die. Oh, there was no more health, so it's kind of tricky when you're not 100% health because things can slide through the walls. Absolutely, there's collision problems. But I think it makes the game a little bit more uh, <laughs> fun, if not distorted and weird. I do have an initial version of it to uh, play with. Um, I put it on archive.org. Uh, I guess just to show you, if I refresh this page, so this isn't the real, uh, like a real PC emulator. This is the uh, JavaScript DOS box that's available on archive.org. So, links in the description. Just go ahead, click the play button, and it fires up the emulator, and you're in right away. So again, your health starts at 100, 100% health, and now that I've injured myself, you'll see. I can't just go straight and walk up the stairs. Everything is moving around, making the game very unstable in the sense of like it's reality, but everything still runs. And then, yeah, the closer, the more health you get, the closer you get back to normality. People <laughs> jump from side to side. Collisions still work. Just gets very, uh, very confusing. Because again, you can go straight, but you're not really going straight because pi is not pi anymore. So it's no longer a straight, uh, straight line. More injured? Yeah. Worse it gets. So let me clear this level.
So, yeah, I'd say give it a shot. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you think. I think this is a, um, a fun take on Doom, just the changing the, uh, <laughs> the reality of Pi on the fly. So thanks for checking it out, and I'll see you later.